the crazy looking rat lure. I must have had this guy for four or five years. I think it's touched the water once. But let me tell you something, when this guy does hit the water, it looks insane. This little guy has crazy action and looks <laughs> like a rat swimming in the water. And I'm thinking, maybe there's some big old redfish, maybe a giant trout will eat this guy up. I've just been waiting for the perfect conditions to throw this guy. And right now, it's looking pretty much perfect. Game plan is to wait around in our Stingray resistant boots and uh, fish a couple different water water depths to see exactly where these reds and maybe trout are too. Let's go get up! Baby, 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 baby. Oh, baby. We're, it's time. It is time. All right, here's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna lift this anchor up. And then we're gonna use Coop's patented tie your boat to yourself system. First person ever to come up with this. Dang. We're tied up right there. Now, as long as we wade with the wind, our boat will be behind us and not spooking any fish, hopefully. First thing we need to do with this lure is make sure it floats. And look at that action. And then it comes right back up. Okay, it does float. <laughs> the only reason I say that, I'm using a different reel today, not my favorite reel. So we may be backlashing. And this is a pretty heavy lure. If you backlash, good chance it's gonna break a knot or break the line and it might go flying. So as long as it floats and doesn't get eaten by fish, We'll be able to go and retrieve it. Everyone backlashes, all right, man? That's all I'm saying. Everyone does it, all right? Not just me. So we're just gonna be chucking this guy around and looking for different water levels, hitting, hitting transitions in water levels, and also a big thing we're doing is looking for any amount of bait that's flipping around. Even if it is just one mully, even, even horse mullet, I'll throw it to you. They do get spooked by bread sometimes. <laughs> what do you think, fellas? You think that spro rat? It's gonna get hit. It, I'm telling you, it looks really good. That's why I'm thinking it will. It is. It is a large bait, though, especially for, especially for a bait that's just right under the surface. I see fish. I see fish moving, boys. super shallow it could be giant horse mullet there's a very good chance there's a bunch of reds look at this look at this sheepers oh there goes sheepers that's not our target i don't think the sheep's head will eat this ha! whoa there's a red damn big red y'all saw that where would he he came from right here dude he was right next to me Shoot, and I couldn't see him. That was a big red. That might have been oversized. Okay, well, there's your confirmation. There's freaking fish here, boys. It might be red, might be stingray. Oh, that's a red, boy. That's a red. Get it, bud. Oh, he got spooked by it. I cast it behind him. No way. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? I don't know where he went. Blind cast, blind cast, come on. Look at this, look at this stingray boy. I used to think they were freaking smart. Okay, he did get out of the way eventually, but they, they'll get pretty damn close to you, unfortunately. There's one right here. <gasps> that might be a drum. He's looking at me, dude. This might be a drum. Oh, he's looking at me. He's looking at the bait. Come on, bud. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir! No! And there goes the bait way over there. Y'all saw that? That was sick as hell, man. <laughs> oh, come here, bud. There's a fish on it. There he is. Oh my god, dude. There he is. There's the red dude. No freaking way. He ate it up. Holy. Oh shoot. I don't want to lose this one, boys. I don't want to lose him. This guy is definitely not getting away. Dude, I. 
I kind of started walking it just so we could move it a little bit, a little bit slower through the area I thought the fish were. I think we got a, I think he hit it before too. So that made me want to slow down just a little bit. Sometimes you don't want to do that with reds because they may turn off of it. But I think the motion of it walking made him hit it. Woo, this ain't the big one that I've been seeing. But that's a nice red right there, boys. And he's got a face full. And he's got a face full of troubles. I'm not wanting to grab into that. He could not resist the rat, man. That's that's a nice fish right there. Definitely one of the smaller ones I've been seeing. I, I know there's bigger ones out here. And dude, look at this. Sad, sad days. He took the rat's tail. Man, I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Losing the tail already. It is, like I said, it is like a five-year-old bait. But that's the first fish of the day. That's a keeper too, man. But we will release them because it is the first fish of the day. These reds in shallow water, you want to make sure that they swim away. Because if you put them down sometimes, they'll just float right upside, upside down like that. Especially when you're drifting where you just let them go and you just let them out the side. They may do this and you may not be able to get back to them. But usually you flip them over. Let him take off. Let him know he's he's alive. Give him a little kick. <laughs> he wants to stay in my cloud. Get out of here, bud. I know you wanted the rat, bud. Look at him. There he goes. Look at him. He's, he's staying in this, this cloud of dirty water. All right, now we do have the tailless rat. Let's see what happens with this guy. Let's see the action. And it definitely changes the action. It's making it stay all the way on the surface. Seems like that tail was reducing some of the waggle and giving it more of a serpentine. Now it's more of a waggle, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Let's try it out. Oh, buddy. That's a fish. Woo this is a crazy one, dude. Holy cow. He's trying to, he's trying to finish off that rat. Oh no, dude. You hate to see it, bro. Budge. Hate to see it, man. Well, I guess that's what you get when you try to increase the drag too much for the hook set. You lose that fish breaking off, man. It feels really bad. But we do have more interesting lures to try. The beautiful, beautiful slick lure. And with this, we're actually gonna be able to hit a little bit of that deeper water. There might be some schools of fish in that deep water. If I'm not mistaken, but at the same time, this will kill it in shallow with that weedless hook. So let's see if there was a lot of fish just not hitting that rat lure. Cause this, this lure will get them. I guarantee you that. Oh, I see a fish. Oh, you're kidding me. You see that fellas? Very first cast with it. These smaller guys, maybe they don't, the, they're not one to hit that big old rat, but I was seeing some bigger fish too. We're just not hooking up on all the bigger fish I've seen. Of course, we spooked them. That's how it goes. First cast with the slick though. Man, just dropped it. There he goes under the boat. Classic redfish. Just dropped it right next to a grass line. A couple twitches and he ate it up. That might be a keeper too. I might keep him if it is a keeper. He's close. There's definitely some more fish here. So we, we're gonna keep working this little grass line. You know what? I'm super confident we're gonna catch more in probably a lot. So we're gonna let him go. Make sure he gets out of here because he is a redfish and they do like to hunker down. Let's go. I know there's a ton of fish here. I know it. We have this 1 8 ounce weedless hook on the slick lure. And since we're fishing super shallow, I'm gonna work a little bit faster just by walking it. Maybe a few pauses in there and those reds will definitely hit it. Now, if we do work it in that deeper water, I'm gonna give it more of a pop pop and then let it let it fall down. The sick thing about weedless hooks is you can pull them right over glass, grass clumps like we have right here and not worry about getting grassed up. Oh wow, wind kind of switched directions a little bit, died off. Oh, that's a fish! Wow, that's maybe a bigger one. He might have some friends with him too. Man, this is crazy. Look, a slick out there as well. I'm telling you, there might be a school out there. <laughs> but what does it matter when you're catching them all on this grass line too? Look at that guy spinning. Man, 
there's a bunch of fish here fellas this is sick the slick lure not even taking a they're not even hesitating they're just hitting it i don't know if that's the same thing with the rat Whew. now we just need to get into a big guy they're out here uh, let's see what this mullet's jumping about oh let's see what this mullet's jumping about Buddy, that's what that mullet is jumping about. That is what that mullet is jumping about. Holy cow. Maybe the big ones are out further. Come on, big fella. This might be one of the bigger ones I was looking at. Oof, gotta be careful with the stingrays, man. I've seen so many. Oh, if he goes around the boat, we're in for a fun time. No, we're good. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. The, man, the fact that we caught one right there, a little bit deeper water, mullet jumping, that means there's schools out there, no doubt. Woohoo! Man, a little bit bigger, but once they get in that deeper water, they have, they have more power. Uh, come here, fella. You're done, you're done. That is a nice one, man. That's a nice, that's a nice red right there. Woohoo! Yeah! I'll tell you right now, this fishing is crazy, man. I, I thought there'd be some fish here. I didn't know it was gonna be this good. So quick. Little, that little slick lure is not failing us yet so far. Woo! Get out of here, fella. All right. Get out of here, fella. All right, now's the time. We need to start thinking about keeping a couple of these guys. What did I tell you about those mullet jumping, man? You gotta pay attention to them, okay? No fishing during the winter sometimes too. Those, it might be a warm day. It might be a really warm day, even in winter. But sometimes those fish do not wanna look to the surface and hit those baits on the surface, be it a topwater or that wake bait we were throwing. So maybe that's why we were getting less bites. And then there's other days during winter where they will absolutely smash topwaters. Oh, buddy. Oh. There's a little guy, too. Whew, there it goes. Well, interestingly, interestingly, so far, all redfish. There could be some big trout laid up here, especially out in that deeper water. But if there's only reds, I'm definitely not complaining. Oh my God, there's so many fish, dude. There's so many fish. Smaller ones. I'm telling you though, I did see some, some bigger guys and shallower, so maybe we'll have to go shallow. We have one more tactic, a pro tactic. Put your motor down in the water quietly, and then you start it. And once you start it, you look around, see if anything spooks up. Mullet. And there's some action up here. Oh yeah, that might be reds. Fellas, I tried to do it, man. I tried to leave. I'm seeing some legitimate tailing redfish here now. Look at that, it's not good. <laughs> Might be out here a little bit too long. I wanna try and catch one of these. That's what we got rigged up. Down South Lure, one eighth ounce jig head. Watch this, just straight retrieve right in front of his face. Right now. Damn, spooked him. Huh. This is crazy. Could it be all sheepers? No. No! That ain't no sheeper. There he is. Look at all the other ones I spooked up. Holy cow. Whew. Look how shallow we are too. Eight inches or less. Unfortunately, it's time to leave, man. This is what you dream of seeing, just a field tailing fish. Whew. And that's a nice keeper right there. I was a little concerned there were sheep's head tails or mullet tails even coming out of the water, but definitely redfish. Finally, and there's more tailing ahead. It's crazy, brother. 24, 25. 
we'll put them on the stringer. Man, you you gotta you gotta savor these days, man. You can't take them for granted. Cause there's definitely days where you might run across two fish that were actually catchable. <laughs> <laughs> 